Democratic Congresswoman Jackie Spear, who's a member of the House Intelligence Committee. First of all, I don't want to waste a second with you, uh, Congresswoman. I want to know what you are thinking about. We're going to find out and what you want to find out. What's the mystery here? What the hell is Kushner up to? What's Flynn up to? What's Trump up to with the Russians? What were they doing? There is an unholy alliance in my mind. Um, the fact that Jared Kushner wanted a secret means by which to communicate with Russia. He is meeting with Gorkov, who is a banker that's had uh, sanctions on him since 2014. Uh, he's got real estate dealings in New York, where he's got a, a, a piece of property that's underwater. I, I mean, all of this is really, I think, a suggestion that this relationship that the president and those around him have with Russia has created a, a absolutely unacceptable uh, environment in which we as a country are doing business with all the other countries around the world. Well, who is this guy, Jared Kushner? We know he's the son-in-law of the president, but who is he in reality? What's his role in this plan? There he is being taken around an SUV with a driver like he's, the, he's Henry Kissinger or somebody. Who is this guy? I mean, well, is actually, he now in charge of the all <laughs> Middle East deal making? Is he in charge of all international money matters? I mean, what is he now? And he, and he seems to have no real t title. Who is he? Well, he is the son-in-law of the president, and that gives you all the credibility you need. Uh, the, the SUV driver is really available to all family members, and they all have protection. They all oh, have uh, the ability to move around with uh, those I Secret forgot. Service agents. Unbelievable. Let me ask you about this meeting that we're all finding out about where he wanted to set up a back channel relationship through Kisilak and he wanted to get he also met with Gorkov, who's the head of the bank over there. What do you think he's up to? Well, a number of things. I, I think that uh, he, along with his father-in-law, along with Rex Tillerson, want to lift sanctions because there's a lot of money to be made by yeah. ExxonMobil, which was the former company that Rex Tillerson was engaged with. Vladimir Putin. Um, I think that we all know that there have been all of these Russian oligarchs who have purchased properties within Trump Towers in Florida, that there was another property that uh, uh, Trump was able to sell for uh, $40 million more in a course of two or three years to another Russian oligarch who now it appears was uh, in the same shall we say, FF, FAA airspace with uh, Trump and at different locations during the campaign. This all, in my mind, adds up to something pretty sinister. You make it sound like Trump's an oligarch, is he? A guy who's got he, economic power, grabs political power, uses the political power to make more money. I think he is, um, he is all about making money. I mean, why is it he got 30 trademarks from China that he's been trying to get for 10 years, and lo and behold, after he's president... Uh, voila, they're there. And then his daughter gets another uh, number of trademarks in China. Uh, this is all about increasing the Trump organization bandwidth and the dollars. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Jackie Spear. Tough statement, but we're going to